It's a beautiful day that the Lord has given to us. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. Uh, please feel welcome as we want to share the word of God this morning with you. And let us believe as we pray and uh, allow God to walk with us in today's uh, sharing. Father, in the name of Jesus, I thank you this morning. I thank you for your goodness. I thank you for your mercies. You are faithful. You are wonderful. There is nothing that you cannot do. This day, my Father, we commit everything in your able hands. In this sharing, my Father, I pray the Lord, you are going to walk with us and share with us. May our hearts open be filled with joy and happiness as we hear your word, O oh, Father. In the name of Jesus Christ, I pray and believe. Amen. 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 That's what was to worship the Lord as we just want to allow the Holy Spirit to walk with us through this summer. In the name of Jesus Christ. And the Lord is so faithful. Thank you, Jesus. We love you, Lord. Bible says, 
have commanded you to be brave and strong. Haven't I? That's a question God is asking Joshua. Don't be alarmed or terrified because the Lord your God is with you wherever you go. And I'm bringing the good news telling you the Lord your God is with you every place you go. It doesn't matter the kind of you know, obstacles that you are facing. But the Bible says the Lord your God is with you wherever you go. Psalms 118 verses 8, the Bible says this. 118 verses 8. It's far better to take refuge in the Lord than to trust in any human. It is better to take refuge in the Lord. And I'm reminded the book, the book of Psalms 46 verses 1. The Bible says that the Lord is my strength and my refuge. Trusting in the Lord it is walking in his promises, knowing that God is with me. As the Lord spoke to Joshua, told Joshua, don't be afraid, be brave, for I will be with you. Now, when God speaks to us about trusting him, he knows there are many things that we face every day, but he's giving us an assurance and telling us that when you trust in me, I will be with you. The Bible says in this world, we shall face obstacles, we shall face challenges, but be of good cheer, for I have overcome the world. The Lord is so faithful to the point where He has given us a guideline on what we need to do. He has shown us the path we need to follow. And just some six things that come to us when we trust in the Lord. Number one, the Lord leads you to the right path. Jeremiah 9 verse 11. For I know the plans I have for you, says the Lord, the plans of welfare, the plans of prosperity. The Lord has laid down the plans He has for us. He speaks to us as His children. He's giving us a command and telling us, in all your ways, know that I am God. I will walk with you. The Bible says, I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. I will be with you in storms, in many things. Cast your burdens unto the Lord. Matthew 11, 28, come unto me, those who labor and are heavy laden, I'm going to give you rest. When we know the promises of God, when we know, you know, what he has given to us in his word, we should not worry, we should not fear, because the Lord is with us. Number two, when we trust in the Lord, you can, you can count on him. Joshua 1, 9, just, just say this verse, you can count on the Lord. You know, Joshua had to understand what God was speaking to him and he had to walk in that decrease. And that's why he was able to conquer that journey. Number three, when you trust in the Lord, he comforts you. Second Corinthians 1, 3 to 4. You know, God of all comforts, who even comforts us in all afflictions. I don't know the kind of afflictions you're going through, but what I know, what I believe in my heart, I have all the confidence and know that God is going to take away every affliction if you trust in Him. The Bible says many trust in chariots and horses, but we trust in the name of the Lord. You know, when you trust in the name of the Lord, you have a shield, you have a weapon. You are covered because the Lord understands every walk and everything that we face. But He says, trust in me with all your heart. My dear friend and beloved, I want to ask you today that trust in the Lord. In every situation, the Lord is so faithful. He walks with us, He guides us, and He stands with us. Forever we know that the Lord is our Father. He will never leave His children. Bible says, you know, you will never leave His children to beg for bread. When we are children of God, He takes care of our needs. Because he's our provider, he takes care of everything that we require. He provides for us in all seasons. You know, God is not cut on COVID season or in some seasons. God is cut for all seasons. He will come through for all seasons. And there when trusting the Lord, there are things that you will not worry about because you know, just as a father provides for his children, therefore God provides for us. Praise the name of Jesus. Number four, he fights for you. Exodus 14 verses 14. The Lord fights for you. The Lord fought for the children of Israel. The Lord was with them through the many challenges and obstacles they faced. God is going to be with you. 
Praise the name of the Lord. He will make you stand even in the place where you could not stand. The grace of the Lord shall enable you to go to places where you have never been before. It not look like it look like a surprise to you, but God is with you wherever you go. He watches over you. The Bible says what? It says, you know, if the Lord does not watch over the city, those who watch over it, they watch it in pain. If the Lord will not watch over your family, even as you do so, you do so in vain. If the Lord will not watch over your job, even as you watch over it, you do it in vain. But when the Lord watches over all these things, we shall become victorious. We shall triumph over every situation. Number five, the Lord, He sustains you. When the Lord, when you trust in the Lord, He sustains you. Psalms 55 and verses 22. The Lord sustains those who are His. He'll keep you focused. He'll keep you refrained from every challenge. He will be able to stand with you, you know, not looking at what is going to happen to you tomorrow, but because tomorrow will take care of itself. The Bible says, do not worry about what you'll take tomorrow, what you'll have tomorrow, because tomorrow will take care of itself. Tomorrow is in God's hands. And therefore, God will be able to give you the knowledge and understanding. Hallelujah. Number six, he will fulfill what he has promised in his word. Joshua 21, verse 45. The Lord has given us promises. He will do that. He will fulfill every promise he has given to his children. He never lies. The Bible says he's not a man who can lie. You know, a man can tell you something and it goes against it. But the Lord will never go against his word. The Bible says he's watching over his word to perform it. He will perform every single word he has talk to us. He will perform every single word he has spoken in his word. As we look at these areas of benefits of trusting the Lord, I want to say this. Not one of all the Lord God's promises to Israel failed. God's promises to the children of Israel, all of them came to pass. And therefore, knowing as a child of God, there are these things that I need to always understand. When you go down, know that you will rise again. When you fail, know that you will have success. But it all revolves under how do you trust in the Lord? Trusting in the Lord entails you walking and knowing that I have a Father who will carry me through every situation. You might be struggling now, but the Father will put your faith in the Lord and know that He makes every person rise. As Isaiah 6 verse 1 says, Arise and shine, for the Lord is with you and his light has come upon us. The Lord's light will shine upon you again if you trust in the Lord and choose to walk in his decrees. I have no, I know, I have no doubt in my mind that I know the Lord has made things right. He's a miracle working God. He's a way maker. He's a promise keeper. He shall fulfill every word that has come out of the mouth of the Lord. He's a great father. He's a great, uh, you know, um, a keeper. He's always with us. But many other times we don't trust in him. Many other times we go against his will. Many other times we go against what he has spoken to us. Has he spoken not fulfilled? Has he said and not done it? Our God will surely do everything that he has said to us. Today, trust in the Lord. Make him shine again in your life. The Bible says, draw close to me and I will draw close to you. We need our Father more than he needs us. We need to go and search our hearts and be ready to come closer to Christ. Because when we do that, our lives will be the same again. He will fulfill everything that he has spoken to us and we shall be victorious. We shall emerge as children of the Most High God. The Lord is faithful. I want us to pray today and tell God, God, today I choose to trust in you. I know most likely I might have faded away from the trust of God because of the many things that had come to myself, but I trust in you today. I want to renew my trust in you. I want to renew my faith in you. I want to renew my grace again, you know, so that I can operate in favor. I can walk in that way. The Lord is faithful. He shall make it happen as you do this, this, this morning. In the name of Jesus.